I'm Erwin Rosenberg. I'm a medical doctor. I have the uh, appointment of the Jean Mayer University Professor of Medicine and Nutrition at uh, Tufts University. I'm formerly the uh, director of the Human Nutrition Research Center on Aging uh, at, at Tufts and also uh, formerly the dean of the Friedman School of Nutri Nutrition Science and Biology. As the director of the Human Nutrition Research Center on Aging, which is the only center of its kind in the world, uh, we focused on uh, the whole phenomenon of aging and its relation to changing functions uh, in the body and trying to understand the way in which uh, our lifestyle and our nutrition and other factors influence the way in which we proceeded or didn't proceed with healthy aging. And we have been very interested in how to uh, approach the maintenance of, of strength and independence. And what we have found is that uh, various forms of exercise uh, have a very important uh, part to play in the maintenance of uh, muscle strength and even muscle mass. The kind of exercise was very important. One of the kinds of exercise was uh, so-called strength or resistance training. And another that appears to have a very promising uh, relationship to this ha has been the kind of low impact exercise uh, that we uh, see with, uh, with Tai Chi or Qigong. That it's not just the exercise or how you go about it that uh, has the desired effects but it's the connection between the exercise uh, and, and the sort of mind-body connection that, that go along with that, that contribute to one's uh, ability to, to have uh, some control uh, over, uh, over not just the actual physical activities, but, but how they're regulated and how they're distributed around the body. Looking at that connection, we realize that what we see in aging, uh, which may be a loss of uh, muscle strength, uh, which is preventable and even to some extent reversible, uh, is perhaps uh, related to uh, some of the loss of muscle strength and mobility uh, that we see in other conditions, uh, such as those conditions that are associated with arthritis, especially arthritis of the knee, and in those uh, conditions that may be associated with uh, chronic uh, disease, uh, including, um, including malignancies. Here we see a coming together of an approach uh, which ranges in its benefits from, uh, from uh, kind of healthy aging people uh, to people who, who bear a burden of, of chronic disease. One of the things that we've learned as we've studied people uh, undergoing the healthy process of aging is that, that even starting at, at rather uh, more early uh, ages, uh, even in, uh, even before midlife, there are changes that are going on in the the skeleton uh, and its relation to to muscles, which are uh, important with regard to movement, flexibility, and uh, the ability to respond to greater needs for moving around, carrying, and so forth. That uh, has led us 
to realizing that among the kinds of, of physical activity and exercise that we need to uh, emphasize when we're talking to people who are proceeding through life even uh, 40 and beyond, that these, these movements uh, are dependent on, on the right uh, kind of um, maintenance of flexibility in the, the tissues and the ligaments as well as the muscles and bones. Here again, I think the lessons that, uh, that we can learn from the kind of movements and concentrations and so forth that, are, that have been uh, part of the uh, long-standing Chinese tradition uh, with regard to Tai Chi and Qigong, uh, especially in the hands of a gifted practitioner, uh, can be just as important uh, for the maintenance of mobility and independence and an achievement of, of the kinds of uh, physical uh, activities that we want to, just as important as, as uh, any of the activities that support uh, 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 aerobic uh, abilities and even strength uh, uh, training abilities. And uh, I think uh, uh, among the most important arguments uh, for the use of, uh, of uh, the kind of uh, exercises that, that are characterized by, uh, by Tai Chi and the way in which they are uh, organized uh, in certain sequences and movements uh, is, uh, I think, the a most attractive way of people uh, throughout uh, the age span uh, of uh, maintaining uh, flexibility and, and function.